Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader. Today, I will be reading Bubbly Jock Jack and the Thanksgiving Fallacy by author Lori Armstrong, illustrated by Jubeda Sager. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I have included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This children's book is dedicated to both children and adults who have yet to discover their self-worth. Through struggles, judgment, and doubt from others, may Bubbly Jack Jock leave you feeling inspired, strong, and capable. Realize you have your own unique talents and direction. You always have. There once was a wild turkey that lived on a farm. It was the only community farm in the small little country town with acres and acres of rolling hills and pastures. Bubbly Jock Jack was a wild turkey and he followed Farmer Craig around the Cluck Cluck farm on sunny days, rainy days, and all the days in between. Jack lived at the farm with his family and friends in the turkey forest, located amongst the mature oaks and sycamore trees. Since wild turkeys inherited bad eyesight at night, they slept in the trees to protect them from predators that roamed the farm. There were coyotes and mountain lions that traveled down from the mountains at dusk and onto the farm. Luckily, no animal was ever harmed. Farmer Craig and his family migrated from Scotland many years ago, and this traditional Scottish family called the male turkeys by their rightful Scottish name, Bubbly Jocks. They were especially attached to the well-loved turkey Bubbly Jock Jack. Jack followed them around on the farm when they carried out their duties. The farmer's children, Bree Bree, Larry, and Carson would perform their daily farm chores and Jack would make their rounds with them. Come now, Bubbly Jock, it's time to collect the eggs, said Larry. Gobble gobble, was all Larry heard, but in Jack's mind, he would say, here I come. It was only two days until Halloween, and every local in town knew the Cluck Cluck Farm had the best selection of pumpkins and the spookiest corn maze this side of the Sierra Mountains. Bubbly Jock Jack was excited when he heard the visitors drive into the farm's parking lot, the tires spinning the gravel, making it rather dusty when he frantically waddled and spun his quirky jerky head around, trying to find Farmer Craig. The visitors chuckled as they spotted the awkward, bubbly jock stammer from the cloud of dust and regain his balance. They noticed he was about to walk face first into a garbage can. Look out! One of the children screamed. Too late, Jack hit that can so hard he saw stars. Bubbly Jock Jack rose to his long oversized feet and waited for someone to remove the lid from the garbage can. He knew they would see it was filled with crackled corn, millet, wheat, seeds and grain, and was the perfect bird seed mixture for a hungry turkey like Jack. A wild turkey has powerful legs and can run up to speeds of 25 miles per hour. He pecked at the side of the can with his beak. It made a loud tin sound that made everyone in the parking turn around. 
a little girl with bright red hair and freckles ran to Bubbly Jock and got down on her knees. What is it, little guy? Are you hungry? Jack pecked on the can again and again until the little girl pulled off the lid from the large tin can. She rose on her tippy toes and reached into the can, grabbing the large white scoop, accidentally flicking some of the seed into Jack's eyes. Gobble, gobble, Jack cried, but his turkey brain really asked, what did you do that for? He pecked at the ground and shook his head from side to side. He tried to remove the seed from his eyes. The little girl laughed and wrapped her arms around the startled turkey. Abigail, put that lid down. It's time to pick out our pumpkin. Bubbly Jock Jack stretched his long neck toward the farm's entrance, gazing at the long, windy gravel road. The dusty road was filled with a line of cars as they entered the Cluck Cluck Farm. Bright green grass lined both sides of the road with a snow-white fence that circled the farm. Jack paused and wondered if he should follow Abigail into the pumpkin patch or pester more patrons as he entered the parking lot. He thought a long while. Farmer Craig pointed to the bright red barn next to the pumpkin patch as the mother of the bunch tried her best to corral her eager children. They scattered like marbles. Please take a look around. We have fresh organic produce for sale in the barn and the flower field is open for picking too. Thank you, we will take a look around, but our goal is to find the perfect pumpkin today, said the frantic mother. Farmer Craig continued to greet the farm visitors as Bubbly Jock stood at his side. Happy visitors gazed as far as their eyes could see. Eager children headed to the tall corn maze and their parents discovered colorful baskets of bright red tomatoes and attention-grabbing homegrown orange carrots. Each foot of a turkey has four toes. A juvenile male turkey is called a jake. Just as another family gathered their troops and attempted to keep their busy children in line, Bubbly Jock Jack trotted in search of Abigail, who hid amongst the tall corn stalks. Gotcha! Her long red braids bounced in the air when Abigail darted from her brother. She needed to find a better hiding spot. Jack's long red neck perked up and his quirky jerky neck made his waddle wiggle a woggle in the cool fall breeze. He heard Abigail and ran to her side. Shh, hey little guy, what are you doing here? Jack scooted toward her and plopped down on her lap. Abigail was surprised. Oh my, you're sure a friendly bubbly jock. She ignored Jack sitting on her lap when she heard someone sneaking up behind her. Abigail placed her long pale freckly finger to her lips and alerted Jack to remain quiet. She realized it was not her brother, but her friend from school. Penelope. Abigail jumped up from the dry hay as Jack flopped to the hard ground. He was annoyed and surprised. His thoughts went back to being told to keep quiet, but now she was screaming louder than a morning rooster. He thought the entire cluck cluck farm 
must have heard her loud outburst. Gobble, gobble, when Jack was really trying to express, who is Penelope and what makes her so special? Hi, Abigail. We are picking out our pumpkin today, too. We can't stay too long because my mom found out I didn't finish my English homework. The giddy girls wrapped their arms around each other and jumped up and down. Suddenly, Penelope noticed Jack. He's so cute. Did he follow you in here? I think so. I was feeding him in the parking lot and then he followed me into the corn maze. Too bad, he's going to be the main course for Thanksgiving dinner. Penelope laughed at her remark, but Abigail didn't think her cruel comment was deserving of a giggle. With a rather sad expression on her face, Abigail looked down at Jack and noticed his eyes were larger than usual, almost the size of a jumble marble. Penelope, keep it down. I think he heard you. Bubbly Jock Jack ran away in pure terror. He shook his wobbly head, trying to remove the disturbing thoughts of what he had just heard. He had so many questions inside his head. Could this be true? Am I doomed? I thought the Cluck Cluck Farm family loved me. His thoughts ran as fast as his long noodle-like legs. He ran past the honey stand, the corn maze ticket booth, and straight for the turkey forest. Jack was huffing and puffing with a horrible vision inside his head. He ran to his family and friends who were pecking the ground for worms, slugs, and snails. I just heard some alarming news. Did you know Farmer Craig wants to serve us for Thanksgiving dinner? Jack, calm down. I can't understand a word you are saying. I am telling you, the only reason we live on this farm is because they want to eat us. A juvenile female turkey is called a jenny. A turkey's gobble can be heard up to one mile away. Jack, 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 you are being silly. Where did you hear such a silly tale? I overheard a little girl in the corn maze today. We are the main event. Nonsense. We have lived on the farm for two years, and not one of us has been eaten for dinner. Stop this foolish talk. You are frightening the poults. Bubbly Jock Jack's snood turned bright red with anger, which normally occurred when a wild turkey became upset. He was done trying to convince them, so he flew up to his favorite oak tree and roosted for the night. He was scared and angry, and he could not sleep. Bubbly Jock Jack thought, and he thought. He closed his tiny pea-sized eyes and visualized all the different types of animals at the Cluck Cluck farm, and Jack whispered to himself, The chickens lay their eggs. The goats clear the land as they love to eat weeds and blackberry brambles. They also provide money to support the farm from the goat yoga classes. The herding dogs direct the goats and other animals when tasked. The honey bees collect pollen and nectar, pollinating the plants, turning the nectar into ooey gooey honey. The boxer dog alerts us when there is an intruder, keeping us safe. The alpaca provides soft wool for clothing, keeping us warm. And the bubbly jocks 
What purpose do we serve at the Cluck Cluck Farm? What if we are only meant to be the holiday feast for the farmer and his family? He gobbled and stammered as his head jerked to the left and then quickly to the right. He wondered why the turkeys were kept at the farm. Before the rooster crowed the next morning, Bubbly Jock Jack was the first turkey awake and down from his oak tree. He was excited to experiment with a secret plan, but the mornings were busy on the farm and there was no time to waste. He watched the other animals on the farm and carefully spied Farmer Craig and his family work their daily tasks. A full-grown turkey can have 5,000 to 6,000 feathers. An adult male turkey is called a tom. An adult female turkey is called a hen. Wild turkeys have poor night vision. They sleep in the trees to protect them from predators. He watched them like a hawk, his eyes glued to their every move. Bubbly Jock Jack watched the Cluck Cluck Farm family gather the farm fresh eggs, collect the soft wool, and task the cattle dogs to herd the goats. He also noticed Bandit, the boxer dog, bark loudly when a stranger approached. He chuckled at the goat yoga class filled with newbies and regulars. The baby goats leaped from back to back of the yogis, men or women who practice yoga, on the yoga mats. He knew when Pam and Kayla were teaching goat yoga at the Cluck Cluck Farm, classes would sell out, but he wished they used turkeys instead of goats. Jack seemed especially amazed with the honeybees. He wished he could fly as far and as fast as the honeybees as they pollinated the fruit trees, flowers, and vegetable garden. He knew their natural duty was to pollinate the flowers and produce at the farm. Jack watched the busy bees transfer pollen and seeds from flower to flower, which fertilized the plants so they could grow and produce food. The wise turkey knew how important other pollinators are, too, such as the butterflies, bats, birds, and beetles. There was a rush for pumpkins as Halloween was only two days away. The Cluck Cluck Farm was buzzing with activity. And it was a long day for everyone at the farm, especially Jack. He went to bed early that night and slept well. He was excited to put his brilliant turkey plan to work. The brisk morning arrived and bubbly Jock Jack wasted no time putting his plan into action. He spotted Farmer Craig near the chicken coop and scampered to the coop, bumping a startled hen off her egg. As the hen toppled over, Jack apologized and grinned. Please let me sit on your egg until Farmer Craig arrives. I'll explain later. Mother Hen clucked in disapproval when Farmer Craig entered the chicken coop. The troubled farmer walked toward Bubbly Jock and twisted his neck when he jerked it back with a strong force. The muse turkey watched the farmer scratch his confused head and look down at him. What sort of trickery are you up to now, Mr. Bubbly Jock? Jack looked at Farmer Craig with such a sinister smile that the reluctant farmer took a step back. Down, Jack. Off. A waddle is the loose skin area under the beak of a turkey. Do not confuse the word waddle, which means walking like a duck or turkey. 
he waved his hands back and forth in front of the silly bubbly jock and encouraged him to get down from the nest. Mother Hen was now the one with a wide grin. Cluck, cluck, she reminded Jack he was not a hen, but a turkey. Turkeys do not lay chicken eggs. Jack dashed to his next turkey stunt. He was now inside the barn with the dairy cows as they were being prepared for milking time. Gobble, gobble! Bubbly Jock was thrilled. His timing was perfect. The big, beautiful, black and white dairy cows formed a line and Jack could see Bree Bree at the front of the line. She was sitting on an old wooden stool, milking Wilma. He rushed to the front of the line and stood over the tin bucket that was half filled with Wilma's milk. He stood there waiting and waiting. Bree Bree laughed and scratched her head. What on earth are you doing, silly bird? You are not a dairy cow. You are a wild turkey and the most comical, bubbly jock I ever saw. Jack stomped his wobbly long turkey legs and he stared at Bree Bree. She continued to roar with laughter and that made him feel frustrated. Jack stormed off and his snood was the brightest color of red you could ever imagine. Feeling more determined than ever, Jack decided to continue his plan and join the honeybees hard at work. The bees were buzzing and humming, busily flying from flower to flower. Jack tried his best to imitate their active habits. Just then, Farmer Craig walked from inside the chicken coop with a huge brown basket filled with farm fresh eggs. He glanced at Jack with bamboozlement and nearly dropped his basket of eggs. The clever turkey spotted Farmer Craig and Jack was pleased he had his full attention. Bubbly Jack flew to the top of the tall sunflower and did his best to hover over the beautiful flower but failed badly. He tried again and with all his might, Jack flew high and flapped his awkward, oversized wings. He attempted to hover and grab a seed. Any seed would have brought joy to the big bird at this point. What is that goofy bird doing now? He is not a honeybee. He is a wild turkey. Jack would not give up. He continued and tried to remove seeds from the flowers. But after several efforts, he fell to the ground with exhaustion. Gobble, gobble. Bubbly Jock Jack thought. I'll show them. I will pretend to be a hungry goat and clear the farmland of weeds. I will show them my self-worth. Then they will not eat me. The goats grazed at a far-off location on the farm and Bubbly Jock Jack wasted no time. He ordered the herding dogs to bark the goats toward the front gate. He waddled toward the hard-working dogs resting under an apple tree and tried his best to explain his genius plan to them. Jack told them he wanted the goats herded to the front of the farm where Farmer Craig would see him hard at work. A group of turkeys is called a raptor of turkeys. A wild turkey can fly up to 400 meters, one quarter of a mile. The silly turkey jumped into the middle of the dog pack and barked, which was really a gobble. He nudged the goats and scooted them to the front of the farm with the dogs. His plan worked, and the hungry goats slowly moved together where Farmer Craig stood. A crowd of visitors formed at the farm, and all heads turned toward the barking and gobbling on the field. There stood 
Bubbly Jock Jack with the dogs, barking, and continuing to nudge the goats along the front fence line. A tall woman wearing a floppy straw hat leaned down toward her son and whispered in his ear, Do you see that wild turkey? He has forgotten who he is. He seems to think he is a herding dog. The boy laughed and the small crowd grew large near the fence. The people were puzzled as they had never seen anything like this before. Farmer Craig approached the group with just as many questions as everyone else. He listened to the people talk about what they had just seen. It is out of character for a turkey to herd animals. Do you suppose he is worried about Thanksgiving next month? Maybe he knows he is on the holiday menu. The people laughed as they realized there was no possible way a turkey could be that smart. Or could they have underestimated the wits of the special bubbly jock? The farm guests looked to Farmer Craig for an explanation, but he was not willing to share the obvious answer once it hit him. He smiled and shook his head when he realized Jack wanted to prove his self-worth on the farm. The farmer understood. His feathered friend may have overheard the dreaded outcome for many turkeys over the Thanksgiving holiday, but not all feasts are the same. Bubbly Jock watched the farmer walk away and he hung his long, wiggly jiggly neck, thinking his plan failed again. Jack flew over the fence, past the crowd, and toward the turkey forest. Along the way, he stopped at the vegetable garden to eat some snails and slugs that were eating the vegetable leaves. Jack was feeling defeated, but he would not give up. Farmer Craig understood why Bubbly Jock behaved that way. He knew Jack's antics were to prove he served an important purpose on the farm. Along Jack's route home to the turkey forest, he overheard Farmer Craig teaching the children about vegetarian farming. But he noticed today's class was different. He stopped to listen. All of the animals at the Cluck Cluck farm have a different role and every role is important for the farm. Bubbly Jock Jack was interested to hear more and he walked closer. Did you kids know that wild turkeys, we call them Bubbly Jocks at the Cluck Cluck farm, protect our vegetable garden by eating the snails and slugs that eat the leaves? The turkeys also keep our flowers beautiful for you to pick and surprise your mothers with. The turkeys eat the snails and slugs that like to eat the flowers. A little boy with a question raised his hand. What about Thanksgiving dinner? Bubbly Jock Jack gulped and held his breath until after Farmer Craig responded. Here at the Cluck Cluck Farm, we are vegetarians and no animal is ever slaughtered and eaten for food. We are thankful for every animal and believe their unique talents should be appreciated. The little boy quickly sat down and at that moment realized we are all different. Not everyone eats meat and that we all have food options. Farmer Craig continued his turkey topic. Did you kids know that a turkey's long claws dig in the dirt for worms? We then take those worms and place them in the garden for a healthy garden growth. Bubbly Jock Jack puffed out his chest. He felt proud. He knew he did provide a purpose at the Cluck Cluck Farm 
and never again will he doubt his self-worth. From that moment on, Jack would always be thankful for who he is and believe in his talents, knowing his talents are appreciated by those worthy of his value. A few weeks had passed and Thanksgiving had arrived. Bubbly Jock Jack was curious. If the Cluck Cluck Farm family did not eat meat, what did they eat at their holiday dinner? The smell of fresh biscuits filled the air. He waddled to the family's dining room window and stretched his long skinny neck to peek inside. He saw Farmer Craig and his family sitting down at a long wooden farm table, holding hands. There, in the middle of the table, sat a shiny silver platter with a tofurkey roast front and center. The tofurkey was a meat substitute made from soybean protein and bubbly Jock Jack could not have been happier. He smiled at Farmer Craig when he glanced at him gazing through the window. The farmer smiled back and spoke these wise words. Cut me a slice of turkey, said no vegetarian farmer ever. Turkeys are the most hunted of all birds in North America. Bubbly Jock Jack waddled away, please. But what he did not hear was the discussion that followed. They would no longer be milking cows or collecting eggs. They would also be adopting some pigs. The Cluck Cluck Farm family had big changes for the future. To be continued. Thanksgiving in the United States occurs on the fourth Thursday in November. The end. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I have included links where you may find and purchase this book. Stay tuned for the second upcoming book in the Adventures of Bubbly Jock Jack book series. If you enjoyed reading this book, please, I ask one small favor. Would you be kind enough to ask your mom or dad if you could write a brief review on Amazon? I promise it will be quick and painless. Reviews are very important for authors as they help authors create more books for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for reading and for being a part of Bubbly Jock's journey. I could not do it without super readers like you. Please be sure to visit my website and download free Bubbly Jock Jack activities. Watch real life wild turkeys starring in their own turkey music videos and possibly be inspired to write your own book. Schools, teachers, and parents can schedule book visits, download turkey activities and trivia for their students and children too. If your child would like to learn how to be an author, I would be happy to reach back and share my writing tips. The next page provides thought-provoking questions for children. Author Lori Armstrong. Never forget that your imagination is powerful. Maybe you would like to be a future author someday. One, if you could give the book another title, what would it be? Two, which characters would you like to meet in real life? Three, what do you wish was different about the ending? Four, would the book make a cool movie, video game, TV show? Five, what is one thing you would ask the author if you could talk to me? Six, what do you think the author wants readers to remember most from this book? Seven, was there one big lesson you took away from this book? I love my fans and so does Bubbly Jock Jack. You can download these questions at my website, www.authorlauriearmstrong.com. Have fun with it. Would you like to ask me any questions? Please ask your parents first. You can email me at contact at authorlauriearmstrong.com. 
Before you go, I am thrilled to share and support the following platforms with your parents and teachers. Please ask for permission first. Each platform is unique and worth checking out. Feel free to pause this video so that you can check out these links for animal sanctuary platforms, plant-based platforms, and a vegan recipe video. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe.